Case for Runaway Kaiju here. This is Scooby Doo Team Up issue 22. Maybe you're wondering why I'm showing you Scooby Doo, but it is a 2017 publication that features Hanna Barbera's Godzilla. So I just thought that was pretty cool, and this is Daikaiju Aiga G. Daikaiju Ega G is a 2008 independent movie. Taken from the synopsis, a scientist injects himself with an experimental serum and it turns him into a giant monster. As the monster destroys Tokyo, another scientist unleashes his latest weapon, a giant robot to combat the monster threat. And I'm glad that synopsis was given because I would not have picked up on that. I was very lost in terms of the narrative. The monster suit looks quite good and imaginative. Sometimes the suit actor is good, sometimes uh, they're a bit stiff. I also like the classic aesthetic of the mech. The miniatures sometimes are obviously bad, which I find funny to be honest. There's no way that wasn't left intentionally, especially since most of the time they're convincing due to quick cuts and camera angles. The monster is digitally added to their city scenes and it's a bit wonky with the moving camera, but the lighting on the suit in these scenes line up perfectly. Also, just the green screen in general is extremely well done. Look at these actors stuck onto a breaking miniature set. Not seamless, but still impressive. I guess such good editing is just surprising due to the low camera quality. There's a lot of cool angles and pans, sort of similar to the ones found in Shin Godzilla. Low angles, Dutch angles, cuts to Dutch angles, then pan. Also similarly using a lot of meeting table scenes, but apparently done in 2008, almost a decade prior. At one point, the monster's leg gets injured, and then he has a limp. I thought that was funny. Same with this spring launched arm cannon. Don't worry, it's also rocket powered. There is a lot. A lot of footage that I think is just stock, but they line up pretty well in terms of continuity and lighting. Oh, cat. And head explosion. The scenes are generally shot in uninspired locations, but the end does have all these beautiful trees. I'm not a big fan of how the monster's beam looks, but in this one instance where it kind of curves into the soldiers, it's pretty cool. The acting seems fine, a bit off but much better than the likes of acting on, say, a YouTube film. It's overly clear that the cameras weren't stabilized. Sometimes it's fine, but here where the camera bobs with the cameraman's footsteps is bad. There's a whole scene dedicated to walking upstairs, as if we couldn't have just seen the first couple steps. The fight is kind of lackluster, having little choreography except for a few set pieces mostly used for comedic effect. I think this is the most impressive independent tokusatsu film I've seen. The suits look good. It's funny. I'm sure it would be funnier if I uh, got the sure to be verbal comedy as well. Stylistically, there's a lot going on and it helps keep up the pace of the film. Also, the monster suit is kind of memorable. I'd recommend it even without an English sub or a dub. So I looked it up, this is made by the same guy who did Gihara, which I also like, and who would go on to work on at least seven different Ultraman iterations, and prior to this work, he had done special effects for Godzilla, Gamera, and Ultraman films. Thanks for watching.